Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to be a D1 Chad Doodlebob, aka Chad Kingston, aka Preppy Guy Chad Main. And yeah, so um, I'll give video updates at the ending of this video, so stay tuned if you really want to hear that. If not, then uh, yeah. But anyways, let's just get into the Friday video. Sorry that it, um, I haven't been doing much Friday recently. I'm going to start getting back to it, so let's get it. Okay, so let me get a rundown on Chad real quick. So Chad is a counselor in Friday the 13th game, obviously. And he lacks in composure, repair, and I guess you could say stamina and strength. But he really has good speed, luck, and stealth for, you know, a normal counselor. In my opinion, Chad's one of the best counselors in the game. That's in another video. But anyways, as Chad, basically there's many things you could do as Chad. He's a very versatile um player if you know how to use him because although he has bad repair if you know how to use his luck to get a good skill check nine out of ten times or maybe seven out of ten times you'll you won't really mess up as much so yeah chad can basically be used for anything and like in finesse's category um his low composure isn't really that big of an issue because you know having a lower composure could make you more aware and kind of just better at the game being more aware of like stamina use and where you need to go and all that so yeah but if you play as Chad then you just gotta rather gotta be versatile or you can just do one thing and that one thing is causing a problem for Jason as you can see in this playthrough I got two pocket knives in uh, one cabin and I think that's actually the first time since 2017 since I found two pocket knives in the same cabin and that's honestly cr kind of crazy. Uh, then over here, I swap out the firecrackers for the health spray because firecrackers aren't as good as they used to be because rather people wanted to cry about it or the game developers just got lazy again and didn't feel like uh, this game should be good. It's like, I'm just kidding. I'm, I love you guys uh, that made the game, although it's really buggy and shit. But yeah, so Chad's best purpose is basically to get on Jason's ass and to fight Jason and I'll show you that what I mean in this right here so as you can see I am running up to Jason and the phone fuse is in that cabin and a counselor looks like they're in trouble now I'm trying to get his attention trying to say hey come chase me because you know obviously not everybody's gonna be in game chat not everybody's gonna have a mic so the best you could do is just flash a flashlight emote around and yeah so I didn't just want to barge in there because that wouldn't have been smart although I had two pocket knives so basically I just wait until that counselor escapes until that counselor shot him uh, then that's where I start to proceed to get on his ass so when you're playing Friday the 13th with Chad, basically what you want to do is just cause a distraction for Jason because Chad is the best troll character. As you can see, I'm throwing emotes left and right and I'm just doing a lot of troll shit. And um, yeah, sometimes I do that to, to like get my stamina back and to show that like I'm friendly, you know, especially when I throw in the wave. I'm not trying to be toxic. I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to show you that I'm ready for battle stamps. But anyways, with Chad, you want to buy time because when, when you're playing Jason, you automatically want to kill Fidesa first or kill a Chad first because they are the two fastest counselors in the game and they are very annoying to deal with. They can buy, these counselors are the best at buying time because they're not too strong so they won't knock the mask off that fast. They have a good luck so, you know, they'll be able to get more hits in with the ball bat, axe, wrench, and they have more speed so they can run away from, um, Jason faster and although their composure low it does make them a lot better at the game now I ain't gonna lie I was a little shabby there because uh, with the swings because I was trying to get the long sleeve swing instead of the short one but at the end of the day you know when you're experienced it happens you just move past it you don't give up and you just keep playing so I'm gonna just show you guys basically how much time I bought as you can see the, I bought enough time for the cops to be called and yeah so, let me fast forward this clip and show y'all. So, that probably doesn't look like a lot of time, but I promise you in the Friday. Like, if you never played this game, you may think that's not a lot of time. But if, from those Friday gamers, you would understand that buying at least 
almost damn near three minutes is a good amount of time because I basically put Jason in a bad situation because he had to chase many counselors in a itty bitty time. And that's the good thing about calling the police. Once you call the police, it, it makes um, the game shorter for Jason. It's kind of easier for Jason because he knows, like, you know, when the cops are going to be called, how long he has to kill you. But it also makes it harder if they're going up against a Vanessa or a Chad. And if you just run the whole game with Chad and Vanessa, that doesn't necessarily make you good. But if you run with them in a specific way and do a specific thing, you know, then that can make you good at the game. So... Don't think that, uh, like, by doing this is easy or not, because Friday the 13th is a pretty hard game to get used to, and it's a game of unpredictability. So, if you're going up against someone good, someone bad, it's just unpredictable. You never know what can happen. Anything's possible. And if you want to say, oh, well, this gameplay was lucky because I had two pocket knives, well, isn't that the point of playing Chad to get lucky? Even if you aren't as lucky with Chad and you don't have pocket knives or health sprays, what you can do is still just try to buy time or just try to be a more stealthy counselor, I guess. With Chad, you don't really want to be the last one alive unless you want to sur survive for the whole 20 minutes, but yeah. But if you were confused with what I was doing there, I basically, Jason ran away from me. So basically what I did was I was going to um go to the person he was running to so I could buy them more time. And, um, yeah, then I proceeded to lay the smack down on Jason, and yeah, I will admit, I did die to this Jason, I think I lost my pocket knife due to some BS or something like that, and then I kind of just like, eh, yeah, you could kill me, I I've done enough harm, because, you know, I do let my guard down some from time to time, I do kind of have a soft spot sometimes, so, you know, um, that's kind of how it'd be when I'd be playing Friday the 13th, I ain't gonna lie. But I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses, so at least that's a good thing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this itty bitty video of me talking about what you can do to be a D1 Chad main. I will do videos like this on more counselors. It's just that like out of all counselors, I'm a better Chad main than many other counselors. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.